Welcome to the Travel Coach Network podcast. It is I, Sahar Rose DeVore, the founder of the Travel Coach Network and the creator and instructor of the Travel Coach Certification Program. The term travel coaching is fairly new, but the concept of coaching has been around for decades. According to a chapter in Coaching in Islamic Culture, it reports that, quote, between the 1940s and the 1960s, some organizations provided their senior executives with counseling delivered by occupational or organizational psychologists. These in interventions were designed to support the executives to overcome barriers and excel at their work, end quote. The chapter then goes on to say, quote, the modern incarnation of coaching can trace its roots back to the human potential movement in the 1960s, a decade of exploration and human growth and development, end quote. Over the past decades, we saw tremendous growth in the coaching industry, ranging from wellness and life, health coaching, spiritual coaching, parental coaching, business coaching, and more. All of these forms of coaching are, quote, the art of facilitating the unleashing of people's potential to reach meaningful, important objectives, end quote, says thought leader Rosinski. That growth is what inspired me to become a travel coach, not because it's something I saw plastered all over the internet or heard so many people talking about it. Granted, when I did start my travel coaching business, it was almost five years ago and you didn't really hear much about that term, but I knew that travel coaching was my path and that I wanted to empower and help others use the power of travel to help them well-being, their personal life, and their work life, wide range of niches, from health and wellness to life and transformational coaches and more. Come into the Travel Coach Network and outside of the Travel Coach Network who combine their love, knowledge, and passion for travel with their interests, background, and expertise in another coaching field. But what if you don't have a coaching background or experience? What if you're a travel agent or a travel advisor or a travel manager or a tour operator or some other role involving tourism and hospitality? Or what about if you, you actually come from the medical industry? Maybe you're a doctor, a therapist, a pharmacist. I've also seen a huge growth in this area of, well, of wellness leaders combining their love and knowledge of travel with what they do in the medical space. There's actually many articles during the pandemic from BBC talking about how physicians in England were actually prescribing time in nature, so in blue and green spaces. So green spaces meaning parks, forests, gardens to help with their mental well-being. So helping to lower stress and anxiety, helping with depression. And the more I dove into blue and green spaces and the power of travel and nature, it's really fascinating. I really encourage all of you to do that as well. But the question here is, how do you combine coaching with your current travel or wellness business? Well, it's about asking the right kind of questions. It's about getting to know your traveler, your AKA clients, personal wants, needs, fears, goals, desires, concerns, and more. It's about connecting with them on a human level and having open communication and effective listening skills. It's about creating a safe space for them to talk about where the desire for travel even comes from. I call this their motivating factors for travel. My dear friend Laszlo at the Health Tourism Worldwide, they actually did a lot of really great studies and he calls these travel triggers. So these underlying factors for why people travel. It's about why do they wanna go somewhere? What does a sense of freedom mean to them? What does wellness even mean to them? What kind of outcome, solution, transformation, changes or feelings are they in search of? Why do they want to escape somewhere? What sets their inner soul on fire? Why does meeting new people, having new experiences, seeing new learning about new cultures and all of those other reasons why people truly, truly mean to that? No longer is travel solely about the transaction between an agent and a client is travel solely about cold hard facts of my itinerary? No, this is travel separate from travel overall because wellness is travel and travel is wellness. The Travel Coach Certification Program and the Travel Coach Network community are places that you will want to be in to learn more about how you can combine your 
uh, with coaching with your current travel or wellness business, or maybe any other field you're in, or maybe you're in a whole other space and you want to combine it with your love of travel. It's my goal to make you think, to push you to get creative, to think outside of your box and outside of the boxes that the travel industry has built around travel careers for years. I encourage you to do more, think bigger and go bigger. I encourage you to take the leap and that risk and create the business of your dreams. So be sure to follow us on Instagram at the Travel Coach Network. Learn more about us at thetravelcoachnetwork.com and come say hello. We look forward to having you in our Travel Coach Network global community on Facebook and hopefully having you on our podcast one day. You will find out more about joining our free Travel Coach Network global community on Facebook in the show notes. In every single episode, you can also find the free beginner's guide to travel coaching in the show notes as well. If you know anyone who might be interested in travel coaching, be sure to send us send them our way to the podcast. We truly appreciate it. At the end of every episode, I will be sharing one fun fact about me, and I want you to come into the Travel Coach Network Facebook community and tell me if you can relate or have a similar fact about yourself. So today's fun fact is that in 2012, I actually ran for Miss Illinois USA when I lived in Chicago. It was an opportunity that came my way. I had no experience or background in the pageant world. It wasn't something I did again afterwards, but it really showed me my strengths and my weaknesses, just like traveling did. And it was a great new experience. I met great friends out of the experience and it pushed me to face some fears of being on stage. And it just taught me a lot of lessons. Um, so that was my fun fact for this episode. Stay tuned for other fun facts in every episode. And until next time, my fellow wanderers, bye for now.